Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Oregon. We traveled all the way from Florida to the Pacific Northwest and I have never been here before. I came with Roosevelt's because we're doing some work together and I wanted to share with you guys my experiences visiting a new state for the first time. We're gonna check out some of the iconic places to eat, some really cool filming locations and just have a beautiful Oregon kind of day. Anywho, let's go do this. We're mainly going to be in Astoria and Portland, and we're actually staying in Astoria at a nice little cottage here in the woods. And it's really cool because we are like, I would say, one block away from the Goonies house. I am also very excited to go around and check out all of the movie filming locations. We have Free Willy, which was filmed here, you know, where Willy actually jumps over and escapes. That was filmed here. The Goonies, the Goondocks. I mean, that's the biggest one right there. Then also Shirt Circuit. So many other. Oh, Kindergarten Cop. There are so many movies that were filmed and shot here in Oregon and in Astoria. I am actually in love with this little cottage that we found on Airbnb and it really does like represent all of Astoria and all the iconic filming locations. So I want to give you guys like a little a little bit of a room tour. It's really really nice. Got a nice little fireplace over there. All wood, very high ceilings, and like I said, it's very iconic with all the different filming uh, that they did here. Of course, you got Free Willy, greetings, greetings from Oregon, home of Free Willy and the Goonies. And this house, like the Goonies house, is right around the corner from here, but I'm interested in Free Willy. I think that's so cool. And they have a whole bunch of literature here, a story, an underground tour, a guide. Your tour of movie locations filmed in Astoria. That's kind of cool. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was filmed here too. Holy moly. And I like it. It's got a nice little, little sink area over there. Nice little kitchen. This is the bed. Got some tarot cards, it looks like. And oh, here are some of the Goonie shirts that Roosevelt actually has. So we're going to wear some of these. This one might look a little bit familiar. I've wore that one before. And I like it. It's very toasty, very nice. It's, it's, it's a little tiny cottage, a little tiny cottage in Oregon. I am kind of excited to be doing these little travel adventures. In fact, this was the longest flight I've ever been on, flying all the way up to Oregon. I think it was like six hours and 30 minutes, and the time change is definitely sinking in for me. <laughs> I feel a little bit, a little bit out of it, but I enjoyed it. I really love it. You know, coming from somebody who never traveled anywhere in their life uh, to being able to come to all these amazing locations, it really is like just so awesome and I'm so happy. We're also going to be attending the Fan Expo in Portland and I've always wanted to explore like Old Town Portland. I've always heard it was fun and unique and kind of adventurous so we're definitely going to do that too but I guess for the first part we're going to hang out here in Astoria and it is cold. Like I am so shocked. Like I remember I went to New York City and I didn't bring any pants but this time I learned. I got my pants on. I'm starting to think that our Airbnb host is a big fan of astrology. You can see a lot of tarot cards and some nice artwork, even on the beds, but I kind of like it. It's very setting and Oregon's beautiful. I love seeing all the different like landscape and I can't wait to visit some of the beaches. You can actually see this picture here. This is a scene from the Goonies and I think we're actually gonna go there a little bit later on and you can recognize the key in the uh, sand there. And that's gonna be really awesome to see. Another little fun fact about our little cottage Airbnb, it is a cat sanctuary. So they actually uh, rescue feral cats here. And it's so cool because the listings say it is the perfect stay. And they also say we will not see the cats, but the cats will see you. And I, th I thought that was so funny. <laughs> I've been keeping my eye out for any of the cats, but I wanted to show you guys right there in between the two trees is the actual Goonies house. That's how close we are. That's the actual house from the Goonies. I think I actually have my little postcard here. Oh yeah, right here. That house right there up on the hill. 
that's the one we are so close and it's funny because my friend adam adam the woo actually just did a filming locations of all the goonies and we both were in oregon within the same week i wish i would have known because it would have been cool that we could have hung out together but it was awesome because i got to watch his video and got to see a lot of more things that i get to check out I think we're going to actually head out now and explore around, but I will put a link in the description uh, for the Airbnb. So in case you ever want to check it out or you got plans to come visit Astoria, you know, you got a cute little cottage that's a cat sanctuary. We're going to get some coffee and the local spot is on a pier here. Oh my lord. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny because when we left our airbnb we googled coffee near us and it took us to uh a pier and we were like do we drive on this like do we go on this pier and we do and it's like the coolest little coffee shop i've ever seen i got myself a cold brew and a piece of zucchini bread and we get to enjoy right here on the water all the ships going by this is really beautiful. I'm loving the Pacific Northwest. Like I really love it here so much. Now that we've gotten ourselves some coffee, I think it's a time to actually head out and go to an amazing filming location for one of my all time favorite childhood movies, Free Willy. We're gonna go to the scene where Willy actually jumps over the wall and breaks into freedom or escapes to freedom. And I'm so excited because I think that's gonna be amazing. And we have made it. Look at this. We have made it to the final scene of Free Willy when young Jesse helps free his killer whale friend Willy by leading the orca to jump over the harbor wall to freedom and into the ocean beyond. And that is that harbor wall right there. That is so cool. I can't believe we're here right now. This is mind blowing. And did you know that they actually used animatronic whales, like stood in place. They had one whale, it was Kiko, uh, but they used an animatronic for more complicated scenes. And I think the animatronic whale was in this bay or in this marina. What I'm about to do may be a little dangerous, but I think I'm gonna walk all the way around and try to go out there and actually stand on those rocks. I cannot wait. I mean, how cool would it be to get a picture on the spot where Willie jumped over? I'm gonna do it. I cannot believe right now I'm gonna be climbing the rocks of where Willie jumped over. <laughs> this is incredible. I'm going up on there. It might be a little bit windy up here, but we have made it. This is it. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm hanging on for dear life. At any moment, Willie is gonna jump out of the water and jump over me, and I'm gonna go, yeah! I'm pretty sure he originally was standing all the way over there, but I don't think I can make it that far. Not with these vans on. Look at this. Oh my Lord. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming back down, catch me! <laughs> enough of the willy business, or actually should I say enough of the free willy business, because now we're gonna actually make our way over and uh, see about some one-eyed willy business. And you guys might know what I'm talking about. I'm sure you guys put it together when I said one-eyed willy, but we have made it to the Goonies filming location on Cannon Beach right here. This is actually where the Fratelli's family hideout was in the Lighthouse Lounge. It was only temporarily constructed, so it's not here anymore. And look at that. Mikey used the rocky coastline here to gain clues to the location of one-eyed willy's treasure. This is so awesome. It's gonna be very windy, but I'm gonna try to pan over to show you guys this amazing view. Here it is, the scene I was talking about. I think I have a match. I'm sure of it. The lighthouse, the rock, and the restaurant all fit the blue. Look at that. 
It's gonna get windy, but there it is. I'm using my hat to actually block the wind because it is incredibly windy up here. But I think we're gonna head down and actually go on the beach and get close to the rocks themselves. Look how windy it is. Woo! I'm bald! It might get a little bit loud because of all of the wind, but here it is. The Pacific. We have made it. And it is so glorious. Look at this. What a view. I was 27 years old when I first went to an ocean. I went and I was able to see the Atlantic Ocean for the very first time. I never got to go see it when I was younger and I always wanted to be able to come and see the Pacific Ocean and we have made it. This is beautiful. Like I am like just standing here in awe and I remember looking back at the Goonies and watching that pirate ship come from outside the side of the rocks and this is beautiful. Beautiful. Scotty, you like being here? Love it. <laughs> wow, look at this shot right here. That's crazy. It is super windy out here though, like super windy. And I love it though. It is really cool. It's honestly a little strange to be on a beach and be freezing cold. You know what I mean? I'm used to Florida and the hot sun. I've never been over to the Pacific before or even up Pacific Northwest because in California, I'm sure it's not like this cold. Okay. It's below freezing right now. It's definitely, I think in the thirties and it's just amazing. Look at this behind us. That is incredible. Honestly, we decided to walk up to the rock itself and just take a look at this. It's so beautiful. This is a protected area right now for wildlife, but it's absolutely like breathtaking. I don't know how the sound is going to be right now because it's very, very windy, but I'm loving this. This is so awesome. And this is also where the Goonies, this is it. This is, I think they call it Haystack Rock. And uh, yeah, I'm in love. We had to leave Cannon Beach because it got so windy and cold. And now we're gonna make our way back to good old Astoria. I love that they have elk crossing signs all over the place. We'll have to keep our eyes out for some elk. This is exactly what I thought driving through Portland would be like. It's so beautiful up here. We've made our way back to Astoria and we're just kind of hanging out, walking around, checking out all the little shops. It's got a small town feel to it. They got a magic shop over there, House of Q, handcrafted quesadillas, apothecary, 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 finware, a lot of cool stuff. I really like it here. It's very nice. But oh, what's this place? It's everywhere I'm looking. I'm like, oh, I want to go in here. One of my favorite scenes from the Goonies is actually when Chunk uh, presses up against the glass when the uh, Chase is actually driving by and you see him, I think it's a strawberry milkshake, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And uh, that place is actually a bowling alley and I think we're gonna head over there. Some say there's still some milkshake residue on the glass. Winers on the glass at the Alana Club? <laughs> Before we make it over to the bowling alley, I noticed this thing that says Tiny Town Underground. A hidden underground experience. And I'm kind I'm intrigued. Weird Sisters Freak Boutique. Oh boy. Begin at the corner, travel down the stairs, right to Cosmic Karen, past the giant tentacle. What? Hold on now. Oh boy, look at this. Oh, right, there's a giant tentacle. No lie. I knew there was an octopus in Goonies. <laughs> this is really nifty down here. Oh, I think I'm gonna love this store. Oh my Lord. This is definitely my kind of store, and I kind of just like you uh, exploring around. Look at this. <laughs> Going through here, they told me to check the wardrobe.
this must be the wardrobe right here. Oh. oh, hello. Oh, hello there. Oh, hello, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Wow, what is this? Tell me that's not the scariest thing you've ever seen. What is it? I don't know. Oh, that. <laughs> oh, there's another octopus there. This is so cool in here. You want to sit down and take a photo? I don't even know. <laughs> this is really cool. All underground, too. This you is know what fancy. When you uh, pop open a wardrobe door, <laughs> the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. This is such a cool little shopping like plaza underground, and they even have a jail. Tons of cool shops. Here's the little jail cell here. Go ahead, get in there, Scotty. <laughs> I'll shut lock you in. <laughs> Very, very fun spot. I like how everything has like a little like storefront, kind of like buildings, <laughs> even a barber shop. All right, on to the bowling alley. Yes. Here it is, LCB Bowl. Where is the window at though? Probably around the corner. But this is where the chase happened with the Fratellis. This is actually a really cool bowling alley. Vintage, makes me feel like I was back in the days when my mom used to drop me off to hang out with my friends. This is really cool. Definitely the old school bowling vibes, even with the carpet and everything like that. But right over here, I'll show you guys the uh, chunk window. Look up here. You can actually see a little picture of Chunk and he says, oh wow, a police chase. And then right here is where it happened. Got the pizza, the strawberry milkshake. That is too funny. That is cool. Here is the scene that we are talking about. Look at that, I like how they have the little cutouts right there. Hey you guys. What are you looking at? Yeah, oh yeah, it's all right there. Oh yeah. That is such a cool thing. We might actually stop back later on and do a little bowling there. I like it a lot. Now we're gonna move along. I'm loving this whole entire city. Like the whole entire town is just so nice. And normally when you go to places that are kind of touristy, like people go to visit, they're kind of weird, but not here. Like they're all welcoming and telling us cool stuff. And I like that. Right up here, they've got the uh, Flair. Oh, what's the name of it? The Flavel House. Flavel House Museum. I keep on wanting to say Falernum. The Falernum House Museum. Falafel. But this is uh, one of the scenes where he's uh, coming down on the bike and he waves hi to his dad. And he's hanging right there. Isn't that cool? That's actually a really nice house. Oh, there's the county jail. The Oregon Film Museum right there. Wow. The jail scene, which is the beginning of the movie, is now in Oregon Film Museum. So I didn't know it was right there, but we might as well check it out. Let's go look at it. Might as well. Look at how cool that is. This actually was a jail, I think. And they used this uh, in the beginning of the movie. And now it's kind of just a film museum. I like that they reused it and repurposed it. Oh wait, let me show you something. Oh. The runaway Jeep Cherokee. Look at that. That's cool. Go in the back, just go over the back of really? Oh, yep. That is so cool. Wow. That's awesome. You gotta appreciate things like this. Some saltine and a gas tank in the back. Too cool. Looks like we got to the jail just as it was closing, but it was really nice to see it in there just for a second. We might swing back and take a look on the inside. They have a nice gift shop though. Lots of goony stuff. You know, you're all about it. Like I said, the whole town is kind of acceptance of it. They love it. And here it is, the original Goonies house. 
Seriously, that is so cool. I used to think I wanted like a front gate like they had in the movie. This is such a cool little house. I mean, iconic, and it's up on a hill. You can't just drive up here. This is for residents only, but you are allowed to come visit. They do have a donation box right there. So if you're in Astoria, come check it out. I mean, this is incredible. Now the next door neighbor house, which is also kind of a famous house, changed over the years a little bit, but Still very cool. Our Airbnb little cabin is just, uh, I would say, maybe two minutes, a two minute walk from here. So it's a good spot to go if you're a Goonies fan. Look at the view you can get from here. Wow, this is incredible. I like it up here a lot. Now that we've made it back to the cottage, we got all settled in and we're gonna head back out. And I think we're gonna go check out a Goonies themed tiki bar and then also grab uh, something to eat, some of the fine Astoria cuisine. Here it is, Dead Man's Isle. Look at that, little tiki Goonies bar. Oh wow, no miners. This is gonna be actually really fun. <laughs> I really love it inside here. I love all different tiki bars, but this is a very cool atmosphere. And they also serve some food. And I think we're gonna be getting something to eat. They have a lot of cool ideas and I definitely wanna check out the banana pudding. I ended up ordering the mutant skull drink just because I wanted to see and drink out of the tiki mug. But it looks so cool. Can you guys tell whose skull that is? I'll give you a hint. They really like Baby Ruth. Baby Ruth? The food has arrived. I got my noodles or yakisabi, and then I've got the fried rice. And I'm kind of interested to see what this tastes like with crushed pineapple in it. Scotty, how's that rice? Good? Oh boy. That's awesome. The fried rice is also very delicious. I'm just not the biggest fan of the pineapple. The pineapple, I don't think I like that much. But now I'm gonna try the mutated skull. Oh boy, that's a punch. Really has a punch of rum. Look at this awesome Sloth Loves Punk tiki or glassware right there. Now it is the morning and we got all dressed up and decided to head back to the film museum because we weren't able to show you guys that last night. Decided to come back early in the morning and check it out. It's time to make our way into the Oregon Film Museum. It's so cool because so many movies were actually shot here in Oregon. More than 300 movies have been filmed here. And uh, it's awesome that we actually get to go around and kind of see all of uh, like the details. Short Circuit, The Ring 2 was filmed here. We kind of make our own little movie. It only costs $14 for a three museum pass to come and check out all this cool like knowledge of Oregon and its history with films. So it's definitely worth it if you do plan on visiting Astoria because it's definitely a movie lover's dream. Nice little jail scene here. Of course, the goondocks. Look at this. This is really cool. Oh, this is it. This is the one, huh? You schmuck. Do you really think I'd be stupid enough to kill myself? Oh, look at Arnold. <laughs> oh, wow. This is the hallway to nowhere. Proceed with caution. This narrow passage is a dead end with no way out but retreat. And look who's at the end here, Sloth. This is so cool. And this is also like an old jail. So it's really cool to actually be able to see all this. Oh, one-eyed Willie. Look at this. That is really cool. I like that. <laughs> Another cool thing they offer is a chance to actually film some of your favorite scenes from movies that were shot here in Oregon and uh, they actually video you and put them together and I think we're going to partake in this. I think it sounds a little fun. 
This is an active hot set. We've got scenes from The Shining, Kindergarten Cop, Twilight, a little bit of everything. And it's all right here, so I think we're gonna actually, we're gonna make a movie. Let's do it. We're gonna make a movie. Let's make some magic. The first scene over here, like you uh, film scene. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you gotta put your set right. pass in. You just scan that in here. And then it pops up. Yep. I agree. I'm ready for next step. So what do you think? Should we film a scene from Twilight, Kindergarten Cop? Or should we film our own scene? Can we do them both? We probably could do both. Let's try doing Kindergarten Cop first. All right. Action! I have to say something? Yeah, you <laughs> What's the matter? I have a headache. It might be a tumor. It's not a tumor. It's not a tumor at all. <laughs> I am not the best at acting, but we're going to try to download this and actually put it in the video once we're done. We'll see how it works. If it doesn't work, trust me, it didn't come out good. What the hell are we doing here? Trust me, dear old mother boy, it's over in four wheel drive and hold on to your hats. And stay on the right! Alright, now we're gonna do The Shining. And I think I'm gonna be Jack. So you're gonna be scared on the inside and I'm coming through that door. Scared! That's actually really funny, but now let's see how it all came out. I have a headache. It might be a tumor. No, it's not a tumor! It's not a tumor at all! What the hell are we doing here? Trust your dear old mother, boys. So Throw in four wheel drive and hold on to your hats. And stay to the right! That was a lot of fun filming those scenes. I really had a lot of fun doing the Shining and then the truck scene. I yeah. thought that was great. You did great. You did great as Mama Fratelli. <laughs> she, he really did. Most of you guys might be aware, but Ant-Man and the Quantum Mania is actually out right now. And uh, I don't want it to get spoiled, so I decided to come to the Astoria Gateway Cinema. And that is it right there. That's where the movies are kind of shown so this is a very small town movie theater I'm excited I haven't been to a small town movie theater in man probably 20 years now I mainly just go to AMC and like Regal and Cinemark and stuff like that but I mean wow this is really cool this is exactly what I was talking about look at that a tiny tiny little theater I love it got myself a large drink, and I got a medium popcorn. You just spilled soda on yourself, and it's time to go watch a movie. Oh, look at that. Gee golly. I'll let you know how the movie is once we get done. What's he doing? I think this is their biggest theater. It's actually still pretty big, but look at these old seats and the carpeting. I really do like it a lot, actually. In my town back in the day, we had a 99 cent cinema. The movies were 99 cents. Here is a look at their smallest theater, and they're actually playing 80 for Brady at the moment. So I don't think anyone's in there watching, so I can probably come in and show you guys. But look at this. That's it. <laughs> look at this, it's so funny. It's a small town theater right here. Just got done watching Ant-Man, and uh, I liked it. It was a fun movie. All the Ant-Man movies actually made me laugh more than I would like expect to, and I feel like this one, you know, kind of lives up to that. And it does future or further uh, what's to come for uh, Phase Five. So uh, I liked it. It was fun. 
the past couple of days it's been a little bit gloomy out but now seeing the sun shining it's amazing here this really looks like a like seen from a movie almost that's craziness I'm not kidding when I say this is probably one of the creepiest eeriest things I think I've ever seen these are all gigantic ships in the water right now and just look at it over here it honestly feels like we're on another planet Now we decided to get some dinner after the movie and we made our way to Bridgewater Bistro. Look at that up there. Isn't she a beaut, Clark? She is. <laughs> Multiple people told me this was actually the best restaurant in Astoria, so I'm very excited to give it a give it a sampling. This seems elegant. Wow. It's time for the main event. Look at this steak dinner. I got the ribeye with the prawns, the carrots, the broccoli. Scotty, you ended up getting the short rib over there. This is good. Cheers the plates here. <laughs> Anybody ever make you cheers your plates before? Ah, first timer. The steak is phenomenal. I already had my first bite and I loved it. Very, very good. And I wasn't expecting a lot coming from a basic, like, seafood-based restaurant. They have a mixture, but this, it's so good. Well, that was a delicious meal. I really like this little Bridgewater Bistro. It's really cool how it's actually sitting on the water. I was going to show you guys, but it's a little bit dark out now. And I think we're going to call it a night. I mean, that's my uh, Astoria trip so far. Got to do a lot of cool stuff and an amazing experiences. And then we're going to head over to Portland and kick off Fan Expo. And I'm so excited to be hanging out at the Roosevelt's booth. So if you guys are over there and uh, want to come say hi, I'll be uh, hanging around the booth all day. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Look, it's so cold. I'm like, I can actually see my breath. That's crazy. <laughs> Anywho's, bye.